Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann honoring our veterans this Veterans Day on Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> the excitement is real. The stoke was high and the snow was soft for opening day at Vail Mountain. So, are you ready to trade summer for winter yet? I actually had some buddies invite me to go mountain bike Moab this weekend and I turned it down. I was over summer like six weeks ago, so I'm ready for winter. It was one degree when I rolled in today uh, and I'm pumped for it. Vail is turning 60 this season. John Plack with the resort. We're gonna have two ice bars, a birthday bash from December 15th to the 17th. We have a brand new gondola cabin. Folks will feel the 60th anniversary around every corner. Spinning daily now at Vail are both gondolas out of Vail Village and Lion's Head, plus chair four for intermediate terrain and chair 15 for beginners. Breckenridge cut the ribbon today on the upgraded Rips Ride High Speed Quad, serving the bunny slope on peak eight. Breck also donated $50,000 to Summit County Rescue Group, raised by auctioning off chairs from the old Rips Ride. Opening this coming Monday, November 14th, is the 50th anniversary season at Copper Mountain. Copper's the final summit resort to open, and it should be worth the wait, with top-to-bottom turns off American Eagle and Accelerator. First chair, 9 a.m. Monday. Two of Summit's most successful ski clubs are partnering up. Moments ago, Team Summit confirmed it is joining forces with Summit Nordic Ski Club. Both will be known as Team Summit Colorado. Officials say this will save money for both clubs and they promised to reinvest those savings into the athletes. One person was killed and another nearly died from fentanyl overdoses in Breckenridge this week. Breckenridge police report the fatal pills are small and circular, resembling Oxycontin, Vicodin, and Xanax. They're sold under the street name Dirty 30s. Newly re-elected County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence was rolling up her sleeves recently to help a facilities team renovate a buy-down home. We're really short-staffed, so I went in there and with my daughter and we pulled out the carpet of that house. Maybe that's not my usual job description, but I really believe that no job is too small for me. Buy down homes are bought by the county to protect them as local housing. Honestly, it was cost saving. Um, we talked to a contractor was going to be $150 an hour to go in there and rip out carpet, prepare the subfloor. Lawrence says housing remains a top priority for county commissioners, along with child care and facility upgrades. Brex Fiber Internet Provider, Allo Communications, was honored this week with the Higher Vets Medallion Award from the U.S. Department of Labor. That award goes to businesses that prioritize hiring for military veterans with leadership training and tuition assistance, plus paid leave for reservists. In sports, the Nuggets play the Celtics today at 5. On Sunday, the Broncos are back for the Titans at 11 on CBS. Michaela Schiffer and World Cup women are back on snow tomorrow and Sunday for Slalom in Levy, Finland. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location on Airport Road, it has been a long time coming, but the playoffs are finally back in Summit. We're not done yet. You know, we're excited to be here, but we're not uh, just satisfied with just being here. So we want to win tonight, no doubt about it. That was Summit High Head football coach James Wagner on the Crystal Morning Show today, hoping to extend the Tigers' best season in years. We're all in it together, and we're all rooting for each other, and it's just created a really positive vibe. And once you start tasting that a little bit, it's really, really contagious. Tonight's challenger, Frederick High, had better be ready for good old-fashioned mountain football. Bundle up. Bring some hand warmers, some toe warmers, and some blankets, and all the things you need. Kickoff tonight is 6 o'clock at the high school. Phil Lindemann, honoring our veterans, on Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.